So we are getting closer to Boeing's first crewed Starliner flight happening from the Space Coast. This afternoon, NASA gave an update on the long-awaited journey to the space station. News 6's James Barbero is at Kennedy Space Center with more. So I'm standing by for the start of this afternoon's press conference. It's virtual today. Unlike last week when we were out at the old space shuttle runway when Butch and Sonny landed here at Kennedy Space Center, then I got to ask them as they arrived about their feelings on the spacecraft's safety. It's been well documented all the technical problems Starliner's had since its first uncrewed launch back in 2019. And as I expected, Butch and Sonny answered as true professionals, saying they're more confident than ever in the spacecraft's capabilities, their own capabilities as veteran astronauts, and in everyone's abilities working behind the scenes to make their mission to the International Space Station as successful as possible. And it's only the sixth time in American history that astronauts are riding on a new spacecraft. The exclusive list includes Alan Shepard of Mercury, John Young and Gus Grissom of Gemini, Wally Schirra, Walt Cunningham and Don Isley of Apollo 7, John Young and Bob Crippen of the Space Shuttle, Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley of the SpaceX Dragon just four years ago here, and now Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. The first word that comes to my mind is humbled. Um, it's just uh, just the opportunity that the stars aligned and they put us in this position. It's a very hung position to be in. I think we just want to do our job, right? You know, and do the best that we can we can do. Uh, you know, somehow, like Butch said, the stars aligned, and here we are on this this spacecraft uh, for the first time that it will fly. And Starliner's first crewed launch continues to be on schedule for 10:34 Monday night at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.